So you're about to see a Avira MRI XT defibrillator cross pacemaker under a microscope. Now, something special happened with this one as I was opening it, and I was going to conduct a bit of research on it. This device is actually under recall globally, so there are people out there with this in their body that have to get them replaced. One of the main reasons they do have to get them replaced is the fact that the battery depletes too quickly. And what happened in my case is obviously this would never be opened by a patient because it would never be outside the body. But as I was opening it, just like a can opener, you'll see these two leads halfway down the board on the far right, those two little tiny leads. Now, I was a little bit naive and touched those leads together with a pair of pliers with rubber handles. And you'll see the damage that 700 volts of defibrillator capacitance actually does to a board. So we'll get to that now. Okay, so this is a Medtronic uh, SureScan MRI safe defibrillator. Um, that is the PCB, sorry, that's the PCB, the whole board, and we've got a little uh, MCU there, or little um, controller unit. That's a Medtronic proprietary uh, die. And then we have these three dies next to each other, which are silicon, obviously. Um, and one of them is torn to pieces. And the reason is that the two blobs, which I'll show you shortly, connected when I was taking them apart. And this is now at about, I think it's a thousand magnification or 700 or something. But uh, you can see where it's totally blown off the top of the die. And it literally looks like a piece of glass. That's because it is glass, sort of. It's silicon and a sand, glass, all the same thing. This one's just arranged in a really nice way with obviously um, it's been doped and all that stuff and you know photolithography and etc but you can see the damage that it's made um, it's actually exploded and most of the well it's exploded the top layer off and it makes it really unique you can actually see all of the little individual transistors or gates um, and all the connection points where it meets the the rest of the PCB and it just looks unreal Obviously, I, I can't even do research on this device anymore because I don't have that chip. I can't replace it. But and that I reasonably assume that that controls the that's the controller charger for the I guess the defibrillator's um, capacitor, which stores it to like 700 volts. So those two wires touched, um, and I'll show you in a minute where they are. But have a look at the definition of those individual transistors. It looks like a little city. And that's from zoomed out a little bit. And those two blobs on the far right, they're the two leads. And you can see how close they are together. And now, don't be alarmed, but there's cotton plus flux on them. That's why they have these little yellow hair around them. You'll see the hair in a minute. I'll just zoom back in on these gates and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's fascinating. And you can see it actually looks like, it looks like a piece of glass that's been in the ocean. And when I move the microscope from different angles, you can see the refraction. It's actually quite mesmerizing. Uh, the original video was like half an hour. I was just sitting there going like, what am I looking at? Because to the naked eye, you can see the reflection, reflections a tiny bit, but you can't see the definition that we're seeing right now. So this is like fascinating. And it actually looks, yeah, there's some da real damage there. You can see like it's 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 not the original color. Uh, it looks like it's corroded there or oxidized. And there's big chunks missing, obviously. Which are, f which are gone, by the way. I don't know where they are. Vaporized. Or splattered all over the place. But, um, yeah, you can see that the definition is quite mesmerizing. Magnificent is probably a better word to say it. And this isn't even a... Uh, this is not like 7 nanometer or anything like that. This is, you know, probably like 20, 100 nanometer. Probably less. There's a gate. Sorry, a VIA right next to it. It's actually quite a small VIA too. And there's not much definition there because it looks like that's where it connects. Uh, here's the pads. You'll see the hair in a minute, but that's the uh, cap. Sorry, <coughs> that's the little uh, SMD resistor next to it. And we've got, um, oh, sorry, it's a diode. But we've got, yeah, the copper pads next to it. They almost look gold plated because they're quite beautiful. And that's the hair that I was talking about. That's actually cotton fiber from where I've attempted to cotton bud the the actual uh, 
to get rid of the flux because flux is quite nasty when you look at it it's like a brown goo and that's the rest of the board under uh, I think it's 100, 100 magnification 50 times or something but um, that is the Medtronic SureScan Avira MRI proof defibrillator plus pacemaker